Hi everyone and welcome back to Change Makers. Today we have a really exciting episode for you. We have with us Daniel Edwards, the CEO of Total 180, the Caribbean's first and only lifestyle brand for men. So he's well equipped to help us with our topic today, which is battle for sexes, money. to ask our panelists mm -hmm. a series of questions and they're Not going to introduce me. Oh, and Jamie, Whoa. change maker, co-change oh, awesome. maker. Some words you can give that name. Jamie is a financial mm -hmm. advisor. She is a CEO of YC mm -hmm. and she is Tony's sister. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> Woo. Thank you. All right. Mm -hmm. So our subject today can be a little touchy, um, but because we don't want this, we don't want to seem like we're promoting sexist stereotypes. However, it is a fact that men and women are genetically different and our instincts are different. So our goal today is to raise awareness of those instincts so that you can work within them as opposed to fighting against them. Okay, right? So, I'm going to start you off with something really easy, right? Remember, the goal is how do men and women think differently about money and elements of money? So, first, so putting, the, putting the whole gender on my back now. You are yes. representing every man, every man of, every, 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 of every race and of every color of every race. So first of all, we did not, Tony did not tell us no. anything about what she's going to ask us right now. So there's no preparation and we will explain the cards. Yes. Cards A or B. We'll show, <laughs> we'll show either one that will represent our response. These cards were professionally cut. Professionally. Professionally cut. Yeah. That's the That's the That's 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 <laughs> Alright, so mm -hmm. the scenario is you're shopping for a pair of pants. Do you A go straight to the pants section of the store, get what you need and leave with the single pair of pants? Or B, do you wander around the store and make sure there are no other deals on like other items that you can snack while you're here? Uh, so answers are trying to go. Divide and rule. Boy, I can't say so. Oh, what do you say? Divide and come. Let me think about this so carefully. Just <laughs> okay, All right. For, for the most part, it would be just go straight for the Wow. So, that's it, right? That's it. Yes. Just go straight for the pants. Oh, All right. <laughs> that's what you gave for it. Right? What? Uh, all right. I'm going. Yeah. yeah more, more, more or less on the other street. Okay. So, funnily, your answers are statistically correct. A 2007 study by the Wharton School of Business found that women tend to view shopping as an activity, while men strictly focus on it as a goal. They want to yeah. go in the store, buy what they want, get out, whereas a woman cares more about the store environment and the attention she gets from the salespeople. Yes. Anyway. Next question Next two. Question. Let's say, um, you are, it's your turn to plan the date. Well, the, you're in a couple, you're a couple, and it's your turn to plan the date. Do you A, go straight to Rupan or Rata Living or Gustavus, sorry, I'm going to Jamaica, mm -hmm. but Gustavus Rata Living to see what kind of deal they can get for the nearest restaurant or outing or trip adventure? Or do you just pick what you want and show up? D, D, but that's yeah. some of the ideas, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm just like, I yeah, don't yeah. think about that. Yeah, I need to, I need to get that Okay, yeah. okay, next question, guys. Do you talk with your close friends about money, about your personal financial situation, and do you share tips as a group? Or if it's not a group, that you know, you want to invest in? <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. 
So A, yes, so A, yes, 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 B, no. Yes. yes. Yes, and I laugh because I'm in a WhatsApp group with some high school friends and I find that a lot of times we're like, no sir, I can't manage that. Can't. Everybody's open to say they can do it. They can't, I can't afford that right now. And I find that refreshing, you know? Nobody's ashamed to say. They're, they're refreshing because they're, they're It's refreshing. Because they're no, poor, they're not that they're poor, but they're able to say they're that's like, not yes, in the budget. Not. Yes, yes. <laughs> Yes. That's just not in the budget. I'm talking about things that just pop up spontaneously. Big expenses. And everyone's like, boy, I can't manage that this month. Let's put it in the budget for next month, right? Well, as yes. opposed to just saying, yeah, what I can't do it. And then they don't see They're like, yeah. Take it on. Are you all? Are you talking about? We're also talking about. I was going to say we're also talking about. You know, so my I would say probably seventy, even closer to eighty percent of our friends do talk about um, finances in that way of being financially literate, so they know what's going on in the stock market. They are um, involved in the stock market, whether they're in finance as a, as a profession mm-hmm. or it's just something that they're personally interested. Um, I think kind of goes a little bit against what they say about women and their I mean, financial literate. Um, but I find that it's just depends on the friends that you're around. Mm-hmm. Your yeah. Well, the thing is, the thing is, we're both financial advisors, so we're we're going to we're, that's what we we're, we're going that's to talk about that with our friends. I don't know if we're the best representation of that question. Mm-hmm. Or we would we we'd, we'd be bad friends if we didn't mention. Whenever mention it, right? Uh, but I guess it's more taking ourselves out and kind of seeing what our friends are discussing. Because I would say, without being an equation, I, I see it happening. You know, I see the discussion happening. So Yeah, well, I'll quickly opine and say I feel like... I'm trying to not tell my age, but... Young, when I was younger, m- me and my friends, we generally didn't. Like, it wasn't a... Uh, it was more, can you, can you afford to go out this weekend or mm-hmm. not? But it wasn't sharing money strategies or principles or mm-hmm. you know best tips. But today it's it's, it's a bit it's a, yeah, yeah, it's much well it's much well, different. Also, yeah. one of the variables that need to be added to is the age group. Right. Because if you're in your twenties maybe not having not, a conversation yes. yeah, yeah. in your right. thirties, you might be forties, definitely, etc. Yeah. So that, that has to be yeah. true. But we know we have change makers in their early twenties, early to mid twenties. It's never too, you're never too young to start. Just switch up the conversation, you know. Mm-hmm. Just start talking about things you're learning and how it's working for you, so you yeah. can learn. So the, the, you know, the time is different now. So I think twenty year olds are having the conversation true, true. more than earlier. Would you end a relationship if you found out that your significant other was heavily in debt? A. Yes. B. No. No, because <laughs> I've been there. I've, I've been there. I had ex who was heavily in debt. Yeah, um, money ebbs and flows. You know, well, it, it depends on how she ends up in debt. So yeah, that's another. Probably her attitude towards it. Yeah. No, that she's in debt. <laughs> yeah, but not just purely because she's in debt. Let me say eight. Yes, you would. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like I wanted to. I would say A, um, let me be probably another voice because I can see how that would be. Uh, yeah, that would be a red flag. Especially if, you know, clearly marriage is the goal because you're like, what is going to happen when I'm tied to you legally and, you know, your debt is my debt in a sense. Mm-hmm. So I would say A, yes, I'd break it off assuming that this person has no plan to get out of it. Yes. So there's some persons that's in it. So there's some persons in it that are just like, I'm in debt. You see the viewers, these girls, as the ship starts sinking, they're jumping out. No, so let me roll. What happened to ride or die? No, no, no. What about money or climb? No, no, no. No, no, no. I'm in debt, she's gone So, So, ladies who are watching, the right thing to do, you need to assess the situation. How did they get into debt? What is their plan to get out of it? And is it realistic? Simple. I don't think it's necessary to break up. Yeah. I mean, it's um, really never for us, but for some people, it's very necessary. It's very <laughs> necessary. You know, stand, JB stand quite high. <laughs> <high-tech. laughs> Just keep you for someone else out there. All right. So 
next question, guys. Mm. Do you have a financial role model? And if yes, who? Celebrity into, into into going into lifestyle branch, mm. clothing line, cologne. Yeah, then he got into liquor. He making the most, he make more money than everything out of the liquor, you know. Really? He's a fifty percent. He's a fifty percent. Is that owner of Syrah? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So all that is. I level. thought he was just a. No, um, a fish man, no. Yeah. And he's leverage. He no use any of his own money in Syrah card today. Oh. Just leverage, leverage. Oh. Yeah. So my last question. Um, you both are financial advisors, and. Part of my research showed that women are much more likely than men to ask for help when it comes to financial advice. Oh, men tend to research on their own and make their own decisions. So, do you find that in your client base, um, the percentage definitely is more yes. Men? Mm -hmm. I have more female clients for sure. Um, but it just goes back to who men are. Men don't like to seek out help for anything. Yeah. <laughs> Right just, <laughs> no. just yeah, it's like we're yeah. men. We need to just know these things. So yeah, push through and yeah, push through. Yeah, when you drop your drop, you know, snaps back again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's that's um that's something that I'm sure we've seen. But Daniel, as a man, like, do you have strategies to pull the men in? Yes. Yeah. Well, I just I just create content that appeals to them. Mm -hmm. Um, because the thing is, men might not seek help, but they'll seek the info online. Yeah. So oh yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, no, I can't. Everything good, mama. 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 For stepping into the ring, you did not bloody each other. It was actually like more huggy and warm and yes. natural flowers. Yes. And we so want to thank, thank you, Daniel, yes. CEO of Total 180, for stepping in front of our flower wall <laughs> and courtesy of Brush by Nicole. Yes, yes, so to yes shout out you. Brush by Nicole for her studio. Yes. So thank you again for watching Change Makers, and we want to shout out. Total 180, Daniel's channel. Check that out as well. We subscribe. definitely include a link and remember to subscribe and share.